With us here in the Anderson studio is uh, members of the Humanities uh, Division here at Delta College, Brad DeRoche mm -hmm. and Tim Hendrickson. Uh, Brad, as I understand it, uh, teaches guitar. That's right. And uh, Tim uh, is in charge of the uh, choral. Mm -hmm. Is that the right word? Is yeah. it choral or choral? Choral program, sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Choral, okay. Brad, yeah. why would somebody come to Delta College to learn how to play the guitar? Right. Or, or is, that, mm -hmm. is that what you do? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, it's a great question. Why should we come to a place like Delta to learn, learn guitar? Because, as you know, there are resources, internet and all these kinds of things people could learn on their own. And, and, and so I ask myself that question. Why should a student come to my class and learn? And I think what we offer and I believe it's a good thing, is first off, a personal connection. I can look at a student who comes into my class if they're doing something I think that won't be good for them, and I can make corrections. I can say, you know, okay. if you hold it like this instead of like this, it'll be better for your hands, you'll be able to play long term, you won't get injured, you'll make a better sound. So they may, w they may get instruction by looking at someone on YouTube, but that doesn't give them the feedback. You know, so th what I do and what I th think we do in our classes as teachers is we not only provide instruction in terms of information, but we also provide a feedback loop to help students if they're doing something right or wrong. We tell them, hey, that's good, you're doing this right, or this needs to be corrected, you need to work on this, and here's why. And I think, uh, so the type of guitar teaching that I do and the guitar playing students do in the class is classical guitar. So that means we're playing um, what I think of as a more serious type of literature, more complex than just simple you know, chord strumming that people often do when they play rock and roll. And uh, you know, so, and, and it's, it's just the particular types of things we do here. You know, people can learn rock and roll and it's, and it's fun and it's exciting, but here we're teaching, I'm teaching them Spanish type of guitar, classical guitar, ah, and they're learning right. pretty complex things right from the start. We start right away doing that. And, uh, and I think it's surprising, by the end of the semester, these kids are playing some pretty cool things. Okay. At least I think it's cool. <laughs> you know, uh, a, a lot of people are here, as I understand it, to uh, uh, pursue employment, mm -hmm. uh, pursue a job, a career, and that's the purpose of, for them, the purpose of higher education. Right. And of course, you, you sit in a church and, uh, the congregation is singing, uh, there's a choir, one organist, mm -hmm. maybe one pianist, mm -hmm. and you know, if it's, if it's a charismatic church, there'll be a drummer. Right. Well, that's three people out of maybe yeah. a thousand. Mm -hmm. Why should young people pursue music? Yeah. I mean, yeah. and there's a follow-up to that, uh, uh, wh what are the employment opportunities? Mm -hmm. What's What's the scope of employment that you can yeah. you can get involved if if you're not the church choir director? Right. Well, if I if you don't mind me starting, um, <clears throat> I have also pondered that question a lot because it's a fair question for people to ask when they come here. You know, if I'm going to spend money to go to school, I expect that my life is somehow going to be better because of it. If I'm investing myself in that, and um, and I, I really battled with that question a lot until I came up with this basic answer. And I believe that when we study something such as music in particular, it's not so much training someone to do a specific task. It's more educating the whole person to allow them to think bigger, to be more creative and so forth. And, and I believe that that opens up more opportunities long term for them. Maybe it doesn't train them for one specific thing like, um, well, to do a particular task to build a part on a car or something like that. Okay. But what it does is hopefully open their mind up to a, a whole bunch of possibilities of things that they might do in their lifetime. And I believe that makes them more valuable as an employee for someone who can hire them and say, here's an educated person who knows how to think creatively. They know how to solve problems and those kinds of things. And then in music in particular, um, oftentimes people don't leave school and go and get a particular job. So they don't come to Delta, go through the music program, and then become a church organist all the time. Right. But I think what it does do for them is it 
having this degree from our school or from any school, I suppose, it, it opens, to me, it opens up a door for a person that says that, you know, they have a better chance of being employed than someone who has no degree at all. They, they have some education, and so it's better to have that than to have none. Uh, and so I think even if it's a degree in guitar or choir, uh, it's better than no degree. And I believe then ultimately it opens their mind to many other possibilities, and they can do many things from there. Now, Tim, I want to ask you if you agree with everything <laughs> that, that Brad said, but, but I want to make sure, uh, because this is exciting, you're going to New York. Yes, at the we are. end of the semester? Uh, in June. June? Uh -huh. Well, okay, that's about the end of the yeah, semester. June 6th, well, beyond right. the end of the semester. Yeah. You're going with a, uh, one of your choirs. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe you told me you're, you, you have three choirs here. Right, we have three choirs. Uh -huh. Jazz? Uh, with the Delta College Jazz Singers and okay. the Delta College Chamber Choir Chamber. and the Delta College Choral. And it's the choral that's going to New York. They're okay. the ones that, that auditioned for it and were, were invited to come. Okay, perform. now, as soon as you say audition, mm -hmm. that tells me it's competitive. Um, or the, somebody... The event in New York is competitive, yes. There's, okay. there's only a select few that are invited to go based upon the audition materials that you submit. We, everyone has to submit recordings of performances. So, so somebody reviews it mm -hmm. and says you're good enough to come to New York. Yes. Okay. Where in New York is this going to take place? Carnegie Hall. My goodness. Yeah. Wow. This is our second time. Brad. Yeah, that's right. Where Where would I go in the foreseeable future to hear great guitar music? Uh, we have concerts here at Delta. Oh, <laughs> yes, great. we brought uh, many, many outside performers in here, as you know, over okay. the years. And we have a couple more this semester. And those are posted typically on the homepage, Delta College's homepage. And okay. they're in the events that are right in there. We have a guitar quartet that's performing here in March. And I want to thank both of you for coming in and uh, discussing all that with us. Yeah. And thank you. doing what you do yeah. at uh, one of uh, America's leading community colleges. Yeah. It's a great Thanks pleasure. Thanks for coming. Great Thank you.